Uh, well, I'm just going to begin by asking, what do you think it is about this tale of Dracula that has such longevity and appeals to so many, has appealed to so many filmmakers across the past few decades and, and now yourself? Um, I think there's a there's a very um, delicious prospect, excuse the pun, um, of uh, exploring an anti-hero. I mean, as a filmmaker, you know that's 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 the I think I think that's the best kind of story um, to uh, um, to really. Um, I don't use another pun, but I was about to say get your teeth into. <laughs> but it was. Uh, you know, when I was approaching when I was approaching the story, as as you know, using the reference points of, um, you know, Anakin Skywalker and he becomes Darth Vader, or you know, your Michael Corleone story and he, be, you know, rises to the head of the family, and it's just I think the, the anti-hero story is uh, just very very appealing. It must have been great for you as well to go over sort of fresh ground to take this renowned character and sort of tell a story that we don't really know about. Yeah, I mean, to be able to do an origin story, I don't think this this kind of story has ever been done with, with Dracula, um, and that's what interested me um, from the get go. It was like you want to take, you want to explore who was the man before um, it became the myth, and it's you know, Vlad the Third of Wallachia, um, and it's based in the 1460s. It's over 400 years before um, Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula, and it was a. Uh, I think it's important to think of it as as being um, a story on itself. You know, it's he ends up in that point of being Dracula, but our story is really focused on that growth and that journey to be able to get there. I mean, because given the fact, I mean, there have been quite a few vampire flicks of late, and I think it's there's been a few that are kind of, well, not tarnishing the vampire. I mean, it's sort of there's been a, there's been quite a few. Just put it that way. I'm just wondering if. Uh, that made you even more determined to kind of make something more unique and, and to kind of really explore a side to this whole world we hadn't seen before? Um, I think what really interested me was the fact that people have a very um, um, specific idea in mind of what Dracula is, they have a preconceived notion. And I saw it as an opportunity to be able to uh, do something really different and, and, and hopefully um, change that perception. And was, um, given this was your sort of big first feature movie, was there a sort of a sense of comfortability in shooting in sort of so close to home in, in Northern Ireland? That must have been quite nice that you didn't have to, it didn't feel like this kind of scary world that's really far away. It was just, you know, not too far. <laughs> um, it, it was actually great shooting up in Belfast because uh, on a purely selfish level, all my family are in Dublin. So, you know, we're getting these set visits the whole time. Uh, <laughs> much to the annoyance, I'm sure, of our, uh, our uh, line producer and, and, and the crew. But it was, um, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it, you kind of just block all of, you block all of that out wherever you are. It could be anywhere in the world. You still have the same challenges of logistically putting a film together and, and keeping an eye on the um, the creative and, and, and the story and just you know trying to tell a really good story. I read that your best friend Glenn Barry is that right was in the movie. That must have been quite nice to have him around. <laughs> he was yeah. I had asked I had asked Glenn to come along and, and help me and uh, um, assist me. Just I. I never get to spend uh, time with them, so it was like, look, we only ever get to do this once. Um, you know, I'd love you there um, on this on this journey. And so, I mean, he, uh, I asked him to, to to also play a monk in the film. So, you know, he ended up being a vampiric monk. You know, by the end of the movie. And I was, wondering, I was, I was speaking to a Wes Ball director recently, who's directed The Maze Runner, and he was telling me how thankful he was that he was given the chance to shoot such a kind of a big movie for his debut feature and it seems that that seems to be going the way a lot recently and you're getting sort of independent filmmakers being given their chance with you know the likes of Godzilla and, and sort of franchises like that have you noticed that sort of shift recently and how, how sort of encouraging is it to filmmakers such as yourself that people sort of big studios are taking a punt on, on sort of first-time filmmakers at present um I think that's all perception I think it's been like that for the last you know I don't know how many years, maybe 30 years. Um, I mean Spielberg was doing his uh, first movie for TV, I think it was Jewel, when he was maybe 22 years old or 23. Um, I think those opportunities are there. The fantastic thing about um, the system in um, Hollywood is that they're, they are willing to take a chance. You know, there's not a grand, for any filmmakers out there, there's no grand scheme to stop you getting there. Um, it's just a lot of hard work and um, a bit of luck and you know you, you just you just got to be able to prove prove yourself I was wondering because I mean your background is in commercials which obviously are 
given the nature of, of a commercial, they're much shorter, uh, they take much uh, less time to make. Uh, this was sort of a three-year project for you. I mean, without sort of, I know it's just a bit of a cliche, but it must feel like your baby almost. It must, you must have so much kind of, you must feel quite precious over this project at all. You must, I, I don't know, how does it feel when you're kind of, now it's being presented to the world, you must be quite, how, how do you feel about letting it out there, I suppose? It's a baby that just cries all yeah. night. <laughs> Here's somebody take it. Um, how do I feel? It's 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 a scary prospect, you know. It, it you work so. I only finished the film on Friday, um, and it's not even a week, and suddenly it's out there and it's in the world, and people are you know looking at it, and um, and you just you know you just hope that the story works and people respond to the characters and uh, and it. You know, it, it's escapism for um, for a short while. Uh, so, just finally, is the world of Dracula one you might wish to explore further in the future? Um, that's that's entirely up to if if the audience want to see it, if the studio wants to do it, and the script is right. Um, it's something that I would uh, that I'd consider. But you know, right now, it's just get one film done and and you know get it out there. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time today. It's much Thank appreciated. you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Appreciate it.